Growing up, I spent every free moment outdoors. When Unir was born, I knew there would be a lot of pressure to live a normal life. But I've always prioritized the life close to nature. I hope my search for that childhood freedom leaves her with the best parts. Being a parent brings up so much uncertainty. We just try to navigate it the best we can. In the past, going to Iceland, it's so easy to really let the landscape be the hero. I mean, it's, it's beautiful, it's compelling, it's always in your face. And, uh, and I think in many ways, we, we felt like there was a bigger story to tell, a story of people, a story of a person, a story of, of two lives being shared. And, and I guess we kind of tried to paint the landscape of Iceland as almost just another place, really, somewhere that, that somebody calls home but is no better than maybe anywhere else. It really dawned on me at a certain point, you know, within the, the last, you know, almost 10 years that I've known him that, like, this is a story I had to tell. This is one that was so near and dear to me, was so precious to me, was so important that, like, if I didn't do it, I didn't think anybody else could. And so I, I, I called upon some of my closest friends, Ben Weil and Jeff Taylor and, and an amazing crew of people to help on this. And I said, you know, I think it's time. I think we have to go for it. Uh, the sun's going down, the light's getting really good, and the waves are super clean and fun, so we're psyched. Chris and I have known Ellie for many years, and recently on a trip, Chris was sharing this story that Ellie had told him about how Ellie had almost died in a kayaking accident. And I hadn't heard this story before, but I was really intrigued by it, and it was a really powerful story and we really wanted to share it. We thought there was something really important there to share. Uh, and as you can see, we're right on the edge of this crazy canyon. And we thought it would be a great idea to use this wonderful new technology from Sony that is uh, the Rialto. It's a nine foot extension. Uh, the sensor is detached from the body um, and wired to a much more nimble handheld unit. One of the things that was so hard was trying to recreate in a way that felt really natural this, this drowning scene. And, um, and obviously, we didn't want to you know, necessarily in any way go back and try to, try to make it seem like we're, we're actually you know, reviving someone in the water. So we, we all dove into our thick wetsuits and we, we got a water housing with the Sony a7R IV and we're basically going underneath Skogafoss, filming this thing from all these unique perspectives, not knowing at all how it's going to turn out. We really shot these quick cuts that, that gave you a sense of the emotion of what he was feeling. When I came up, I realized I was behind the waterfall in a cave that you couldn't see from the outside. I thought maybe if I would get out of the boat and swim, I would be less buoyant and I would get pushed out. And I just tried it again and again. And then to see that kind of put into this edit, it's. To me, it's like the beauty of filmmaking. You never really know, and you're just out there experimenting, and then you come back and you're like, we got it, or you're like, no, we gotta do it again, and you're freezing cold and you're going back. To see that scene unfold, I really feel that emotion, and that was, that was all I could have ever hoped for. As a crew, it worked out great. I mean, we all just pitched in and supported each other in it, and I think the images speak for themselves. There's something really cool about making films with your friends. You know, you always dream about having these stripped down minimal crews where you're in one vehicle and you're running around, you know, grabbing all these shots. And, and that's really what it was like. And I was, to be honest, I was fearful. I was like, we're managing this big camera system. Usually this needs, you know, multiple people and assistance. And, and we actually made it work. <laughs>
it was such a cool experience to all of a sudden realize that this age-old idea that you need tons of hands and bodies to make this work is, is not true. Like, with enough passion and creativity and a willing crew, like, you can do anything you want if you all share the same vision. And that's one of the, the true beauties of working with people that you care about, people you trust, and telling a story that you're all understanding to be the most important thing. Like, anything can really be brought to life, and I think creativity in that situation will always reign supreme.